detailed documentary report on three months of intensive training for beneficiaries of the community-based reintegration project by IOM funded by the EU and implemented by the Genius Hub Global Initiative. Genius Hub is a human capital development organization based in Nigeria with its headquarters in Benin City, Edo State, with a fast-growing community that houses achievers through a wide range of success-driven programs organized to continually improve lives. The community-based reintegration project was launched in Upper Sakumba community and is an intervention to improve the socio-economic situation, combat the stigmatization, as well as change the single-story narrative of the Upper Sakumba community. The project is implemented with funding from the European Union International Organization for Migration in partnership with Genius Hub Global Initiative. The project was implemented in three main phases, planning, execution, and conclusion. The planning stage involved community mapping, rapid assessment, and beneficiary selection process. The criteria for choosing a community we are communities with high concentration of returnees and strong out migration pressure, community perceptions and potentials for income generation. From the various communities assessed in Upper Sakumba, Ugbeku community, after meeting all criteria, was selected as the host community for the project. In order to determine the best fit project to be undertaken, advocacy visits, stakeholder meetings, Rapid assessment surveys were carried out. The advocacy visit was held at the Enoges Palace by members of Genius Hub Global Initiative Project Team to intimate the community on the details of the community-based reintegration project, thereby getting them involved in the entire process, which included a rapid assessment survey, which include posting and sharing forms for youth online and on site between the ages of 18 to 35 years, which was conducted to ascertain the type of business or economic activity that will most likely thrive in the community. Parts of visit was also extended to the National Films and Video Census Board to intimate them about the activities of Genius Hub Global Initiative especially the creative department, and to seek for their partnership and grooming of the students. They also in turn enlightened the Genius Hub Global Initiative team on the standard operating procedures as regards movie production. Following the rapid assessment, a community stakeholder meeting was organized. During this meeting, various stakeholders from different sectors we are brought to deliberate on activities for the project. The creative industry, ICT, information and communication technology, agricultural sector, and the circular economy, which dwelt on recycling, were invited and present. During this engagement, the creative industry and ICT were spotlighted. Based on the outcomes of the rapid survey assessment, and community stakeholders meeting. The creative industry, specifically filmmaking, and ICT in particular, graphics design and digital marketing were likely to be suitable project areas as they add so much connection with the proposed community, would help redeem the negative image of the community and the sustainability and viability of both industries. With the project area sorted out, it was time to identify and ultimately select beneficiaries through online application forms, although selection was based on a number of criteria, which included that beneficiaries should be newly returned or potential migrants. That means they should not have benefited from any IOM reintegration program they should be residents of the Upper Sakwamba area, should have existing skills, and be available for the duration of the training. From the first phase of identifying beneficiaries, we had 400 entries 
from which we selected 250 beneficiaries who were invited for a physical screening. From the physical screening, 70 beneficiaries were finally selected and then distilled into the filmmaking and ICT department. After the selection of the beneficiaries, professional and seasoned facilitators with proven experience in their respective fields were selected to take special courses in the creative sector and the information technology sector. We had facilitators like Mr. Marfa Victor Omoluabi, Mr. Amos Idee, Mr. Joseph Okomina, Shevo Umweni, Mrs. Barbara Omorege, Mrs. Inye Agbonifo Omorege, S.A. Ejodame, Peter Odion Aigboka, Osamuime Agbongai, Mrs. Isimeme White, Efemena Idemudia, Adesua Amadi Emina, Orila De Joy, Obeyi Opiabele, Mr. Leke Badiru, Dr. Erimato Osaibovo, Agboima Nusakare. The second phase of the project, which is the execution phase, kicked off with a life skills management course. An aspect of the community-based reintegration program was the life skills training, mental health, and psychosocial support using art-based intervention. The goal was to use art to get the beneficiaries out of the various moods, ranging from depression, mood swings, anxiety, etc. Art describes, communicates, and expresses ourselves and our story from generation to generation with meaningful symbols. Art-based intervention, using creative expressions, does what talking cannot do. Painting, Drawing colleges is a way of expressing ourselves and expressing it to others, which essentially exists to help youth have clarity of purpose, having known their strengths and weaknesses, which will lead them to making informed and practical decisions that establish them in the desired fields of their endeavors. While going through the life skill management courses, they were also exposed to a general overview of all courses available in the creative sector and the ICT sector. This was done to enable them to have a clear understanding of available courses, which allowed them to make a logical selection of courses that are their interest, after which they started attending specialized classes. Available classes were lighting, cinematography, sound design, video editing, graphics design, digital marketing, production design, and acting. The specialized classes were quite intensive. They were taught and drilled by seasoned and professional instructors. Also, we were privileged to welcome the chief of mission and his entourage during the training. This helped to boost the strength of the beneficiaries as they expressed their joy and appreciation to IOM the program then moved to the conclusion phase. At the conclusion phase of the program, it was time for the beneficiaries to put the knowledge and skills that they had acquired into practical use. The project was a movie production that required that they not only work as a team, but also showcase the specialties from the courses offered under the program. The filmmakers were tasked with ensuring sound lighting, production design, and cinematography, and the director and actors were present for the project. The ICT students had the job of publicity and well presentation of the completed project. They produced the flyers and certificates for this project. This practical project resulted in the successful production of the films titled Joy, 21st century and bruises. They also featured in a reality TV show titled My Upper Sakumba Story, where they share their stories with the host, Shagumo Oluwakemi, and how they have changed the narrative of the Upper Sakumba community in the Kobaoka local government area, Benin City, Edo State. After the production of the film, they had a day of sporting activities, which included Football matches, both male and female teams, 
card games, scrabble, chess, and tug of war to further build the spirit of sportsmanship and teamwork in them. It was also a means of relaxation for them after all the hard work of producing three films. The community-based reintegration program, My Opera, which was implemented by Genius Hub Global Initiative and fully funded by the EU and the International Organization for Migration, officially rounded up on the 31st of December 2022. The beneficiaries also shot a skit with popular Edo State comedian, The Saint, popularly known as John Bosco. At the end of the program, the graduation ceremony, which took place on the 10th of January 2023, featured the premiere of the movies produced by the students and was graced by top government functionaries from Edo State and many stakeholders from the human development sectors. The government functionaries in attendance included the Office of the Deputy Governor of Edo State, represented by the Head of Edo Skills and Development Agency, Edo Jobs, Office of the First Lady to the Governor of Edo State, Commissioner of Digital Economy, Science and Technology, and officials from the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking and Person, NAPTI, while officials of SOS, GIZ Setting, GIZ Sky, Caritas, and Action A represented the development sector. The International Organization for Migration was represented by key state officials who stood in for the country's director and chief of missions. The venue for the graduation ceremony was Cardo Cinemas and is the largest and most popular cinema in Benin City. The movies that premiered were Joy, 21st Century, Bruises, and a comedy skit that featured popular Edo comedian, The Saints, also known as John Bosco. And this was produced by the students and can be found on the social media channels of the Genius Hub Global Initiative. The graduation also premiered the reality TV show titled My Upper Sakumba Story, where the beneficiaries share their stories on how they are changing the Upper Sakumba narrative with the host, Shagumo Kemi. Certificates were issued to the graduates and the cooperative was launched. Officials of the Ministry of Business, Trade and Cooperatives we are on ground to present the cooperative certificate to executives elected by the students. The beneficiaries of the community-based reintegration program we are presented with starter packs which includes one video editing desktop computer, 10 desktop computers for graphic design, black magic, pocket cinema camera 6K Pro, 650 Fresnel lights, studio mixer, boom pole and mic, and lapel microphones. In the words of a popular auto, capacity building for the citizens will enhance the development of the country. Genius Hub, through its initiative, has built capacity for the beneficiaries of the community-based reintegration program, thereby bringing potential immediate development to primarily Ikobaoka community on a primary scale and Edo State and Nigeria at large. Special appreciation goes to European Union for funding the community-based reintegration project in Edo State through the International Organization for Migration, IOM, and also to the Genius Hub Global Initiative for implementing this laudable project. Thank you, EU, IOM, and Genius Hub Global Initiative.